Happy Sunday, everybody. How many out there are going to be watching the AEW pay-per-view tonight to see CM Punk return to wrestling? Really curious on that. Really curious. But let's move on to the topic of today. So, went through the whole month of August, and we got a new member to the all-exclusive 10,000 PSA 10 Club. If you're new to the channel, what this is is a card that has over 10,000 PSA 10s in circulation. And it's been something I've been tracking. You could use this information for however you want, buy, sell, trade, um, whatever it may be, submit more to grade. I, I have no idea. Um, this was something I started a long time ago. And a few months ago, enough people talked me into posting a video on this. It's really interesting stuff. It tells you how many new PSA 10s were graded during the month of August. Well, I went through uh, September 3rd, through September 3rd, just to give that a couple days of update of grading to go through. So let's pull it up. Boom, there we go. So let's just start off from the bottom. 2018, which is also 2018-19, Prism Trey Young rookies were now over 10,000 for it. We we got another member. Congratulations, congratulations. Yes, this is all in sarcasm. It really is too, because it just shows. This here shows how much had to be produced of this product. It's immense. With Fanatics uh, takeover, I'm calling it. The car companies could even dump more onto us. This just gives people an idea how many are out there. And, you know, you could do with the information what you want. Zion, <clears throat> Prism Rookies have now taken the lead. Over 19,300. We had 556 new PSA 10s this last month. Acuna, he was in number one spot for that tops update. Slowly dipping away, 248 more came in. Soto's tops update, 400 to the nose. One that really surprised me was the John Morant, too, 645, but I figured there was a bunch of his Prism rookies sitting there. Luca rookies, immense. Tatis, look, 571 new ones. PD tops rookies, still a bunch out there. The Griffey tops trade hasn't moved up, and yes, that is a high pop count. I mean, but they're still pushing around 200 bucks right now. Uh, not bad, but it just gives you an idea how much was produced out there because you know how many nines, and we're not even talking BGS, we're not talking SGC, and any other grading company that's even touched any of these cards. Lux, big one there, 724. I believe that was the most, yep, most on the list. 724 new ones, uh, PSA 10s. LeBron's. 560 from uh, last year's, well, the Zion Rookie Year Prism, I'll say. Zion Rookie Year Prism. Uh, Upper Deck Tiger Woods, 150 to the nose. 220 more Topps Chrome Sotos. That just made the list last time. And there's our, so our uh, Prism Trey Young Rookies. Prism Trey Young Rookies just made the list. Wander Franco, moving up. We should probably see him in a 10,000 uh, club mark. That is the Bowman... Um, Wander Franco card, the Chrome version. It's card number 100 because I know it may confuse people with the papers and everything else out there. And then Tatis, he's slowly moving up the Topps Chrome. 460 last month. I'm probably guessing in about two months that'll be on there as well. And if you guys know other pop counts that are high, leave them in the comments. Send me an email. Let's keep track of this stuff overall and just to see how high they are. Now, something I brought up on overtime, let me know if you guys might be interested in me doing this, and it's going to probably take a while to build. We talk a lot about base cards being overproduced. What about if we started looking at Zion Prisms, and we look at all the versions of refractors that are num Well, actually, every refractor or parallel card to include the silvers. Silver, red, green, red, white, blue, purple number, purple choice, disco, um, this SP variation, all of that. Just to bring that into light, I don't know. Um, it might be something that might be a little bit too big. The other idea is this. 
is the cards that are over a 50% PSA 10 rating. So that means like 50 cards have been submitted of, of, some, of a particular card and 25 or more have graded PSA 10. I'm thinking about the, doing more of the second one in anything, but I'm going to need a lot of help on to it if we do that because it, it's going to be a huge list. I know a lot of people have cards like, man, yeah, the gem mint rate on that da, 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 is high. Check this out. And we can build a list like that just to see, you know, if certain brands or types of cards are getting higher PSA 10 um, grades than others. Because it might mean, hey, the blues were cut better than the greens or the golds or the oranges are better than the golds cut or vice versa. And it might help somebody and actually, you know, purchase something they may want to grade later on. Let me know if that second option interests you guys because I'm sure there's enough people that are on this channel, whether you're subscribed or not, that would be like, hey, I've been looking at these different three parallels. And like the what doesn't make sense is, you know, the oh let's just say like the blue version has a better PSA 10 rate than the purple green and gold right now so we, we want to get stuff that has you know a good chunk of the overall I guess you could say count of card made so like out of the 150 at least like 50 of them have been graded so far you know at least a third of the population's been graded if you guys think it would be something interesting, hit in the comments, and then I'll see if I can get some people to give me a hand on it. Make, I think it'd be kind of good in a way. And it's just due to the fact that a lot of times you'll notice different variations are grading better than others, especially when we're talking chrome, prism, and optic. I don't know if it's a fluke. It might just be one of those things. And we, I mean, I could purchase maybe some cards raw from a show, grade them, and we'll see how well they do. You know, especially if I use the old evil machine. Um, and I'll be back to doing the old, uh, what they call Dr. Death um, microscope on cards here shortly as well, too. So if you're new to grading and you ever see me on on a weekend and I'm just, you see a picture of a card that's really blown up. It's just me going over stuff for somebody that asked me to review some cards for them. And, you know, I, I've heard a lot of people say they learned a lot from watching it. Just knowing, you know. Okay, I found this at a little bit higher magnification, so I know where to look for it at. And now with the naked eye, can I see it? Then I'll bring out the 10 times and look at it and see if I can see it or not. But uh, just be on the lookout because I'll probably be starting to do that here within the next couple weeks. Because I'm thinking PSA is going to be opening up uh, regular service here beginning of October. Probably economy 1 Jan, and then I don't think we'll see any of the value stuff till late next summer. Just my thoughts off the top of my head. I could be wrong with the dates, um, but just what I'm thinking for myself and trying to get stuff prepped. All right, everybody. Take care. Have a good Sunday if you're watching the pay-per-view tonight. Um, let me know because I'm kind of curious if anybody's actually buying it. I've been trying to find a place I can watch for free. So if you guys know one of those types of things, you can either email me. My email is always in the, in the description. Or you can post it for everybody else to see, too. The one site that I usually use to watch all the games and stuff doesn't have uh, wrestling on it for some reason. But maybe it might be a late post coming in. All right, everybody. Take care. See you all next video.